My name is Jody Bunting and this is Meet Tom, a free six week course where our slimmers are going to be losing six weeks in the six weeks before Christmas. Uh, and right now we are going to meet Tom, who is here with us live on Zoom. Hi, Tom. Hello. How are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, good. I'm good, thank you. Are you ready to lose a stone in the six am, weeks yeah. before Christmas? I am. I'm ready. I'm going to uh, really try and do as much exercise as, as I can. Uh, I think that's my main uh, thing that I think I'm going to be arguing with. My, what I'm worried about is, from my view, my eating. I've always been quite a big eater. Yeah. But since I've had children, I've um finding the time to do the exercise and and uh, I think that's what I've, I've struggled I've struggled with. So I used to always burn off my calories, but um, because you know just in life and you know working and children, sure, you know, it's kind of in a bit. <laughs> unfortunately, what sort of exercise do you do, or did you used to do? I used to go to I used to go to the gym and I used to lift a lot of weights, I suppose, um, quite a lot, and I used to go running as well. But unfortunately, I've got arthritis in the right hip. So that's kind of hindered me as well because I'm kind of like I'm all or nothing. So yeah. I used to be, um, you know, go for, go for the running, but you know, if I really if I push myself too much, um, you know, then I can't, you know, I can't get you know pain in the hip and that. So, you know, so I just have to be kept, you know, just have to be careful with with the way I exercise. And um, yeah, it's okay. I'm not like you know, it doesn't really. Doesn't affect me day to day, but I say if I push myself too much, you know, I can be in a bit of pain. But it's just training smart, I suppose. And do you have protein shakes? Do you have? Do you make sure you're getting enough protein in? Yeah, I mean, yeah. So now I'm starting up again. Um, I will start with um, the protein shakes, yeah. But the problem, problem is, I suppose, is it's eating late at night. Um, and I just need to control what I eat. I think that's the, the main thing. And have you tracked calories before? Have you used my fitness pal before? Um, I have, I have briefly for not for not for a long period to once with you, but um, I have downloaded it, I have got for it, but I will start using that. Great. So just just as a rough guide, so you're monitoring the sorts of food you're having, because what we want yeah. to do is try to link. You know, when you do maybe are feeling down or you are feeling like you want more sugar and try yeah. and link it with maybe foods that you've eaten or you've not eaten. So that's the reason for tracking, really. It's not to, you know, count every calorie and, and be quite um, nippity about it. We actually just want to do it for more general health and wellness and just to try and get a recipe for success. What about things like fruit, veg, salad? Are you a fan? I am, yeah. I am a fan, yeah. Um, I am a fan. Um, I saw when I cook children from cook meals for my children. I always, you know, include vegetables and stuff. But um, yes, yeah, so I am a fan of that. Yeah, it's. Um, but I suppose what I can do at times is, 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 you know, just cook a lot of pasta or stuff like that, which is not really. It's quite fattening. So I think I only stopped doing that. So it can be quite easy to do, to do that when you're busy. But um, if I'm cutting that secret, out. Yeah. Well, the secret is just to make sure you're having protein with pasta and yeah. you're also having like it with a salad or some veg as well. So the yeah. pasta itself is not that bad, but it's if you have it with other carbohydrates and no veg, that's when it's bad. But as long as you're putting it with protein and something fresh and healthy, then it's not too bad. What about the sauces that you can get? Um, would you recommend just what, making my own sauce instead? Or um, it's to be honest, you know, we'd I'd love to recommend and make your own sauce, but to be honest, it's not going to happen for most people. So just having like a tomato-based sauce is much better than the creamy ones because there's a lot yeah. of calories in them, and even and adding your own little bit of veg on there, and obviously going for chicken or prawns or you know a nice good quality protein with the pasta and the sauce. Okay. How are your kids? Are they uh, they fussy eaters or they eat whatever you give them? <laughs> oh, I've got a six year old um, and uh, well, I've got a six year old, four year old, and a three year old. Um, I've got two girls and a boy. The boy's the youngest, and um, yeah, we're at a age where 
especially the um, four-year-old and and, two, and three-year-old, they're, they, uh, they're three fussy eaters. <laughs> yeah. It's, um, this is the biggest thing I find with a lot of the clients. You know, what we don't want to do is you to have one thing and the kids to be eating another thing completely. Yeah. So as much as possible, just trying to get your fresh uh, produce and your protein into the family meal is obviously yeah. going to be good for them and good for you as well. So don't make too many drastic changes and don't think you've got to eat completely different to the family. As much as you can eat together still, that will be fab. Yeah. Um, what about things like breakfast? Uh, breakfast, for sure. I normally just have the cereal normally. Um, yeah, just cornflakes normally. Uh, do you sometimes like porridge? I do like porridge, yeah, I do. Yeah, so porridge is probably the best one. But again, just yeah. when you're having cereals, just think about having some, maybe a portion of fresh fruit or some strawberries or some, you know, any sort of berries on top of the cereal, just so you're getting yeah. the good nutrients. Yeah, that's good. Um, and then what about snacks in the evening? What things are you being drawn to at the moment? Um, oh, it's been, it's, I'm, I must admit I'm terrible. Um, if it's like my partner's bought, I don't know, crisps or, you know, chocolate. I can um, I can easily, when I get home from work or whatever, I can easily just, you know, um, just start eating it. So I feel like I can control myself. Yeah. As well and hold myself accountable for this is why it's so important to get the the fruit and veg and the protein in the daytime and then what you'll find is then these sorts of cravings in the evening will be much less and easier to control yeah are you a member of the gym at the moment um yeah yeah well yeah i am yeah i am i am a member of the gym so um i am but also i've got a exercise bike Oh, great. Front room, which I'm yeah. just like you. So, and when um, you go to the gym at the moment, then are you thinking to do classes or uh, weights or cardio? Um, I will. I want to do as much cardio as possible. Um, so I'll probably go swimming. Um, Perfect. But also, well, uh, but probably, as I said, um, I used to really go for it when I did go to the gym and. I kind of only know one way, and that's to to really go yeah. for it. Uh, I've just got, but as I said, I don't want to push myself too much. I've just got to try and be a bit careful. So once I do go for it, you know, I do, I do it until, when I do weights, for example. I do it until you know, I really I feel the pain, and you know, you you know, that's the only way I know. So it's just been yeah. that I had the chance to to go to the gym. Now my son's at nursery. Yeah. All three you know, I'm going to be at school because that's going to be my that's going to be my time when I can um, go to the gym. My partner, when I'm working, my partner looks partner looks after the children, and the same when she's working, I look after the children. So, so now it's now the time that I can start losing the weight and going to the gym. Yeah, but I can't recommend weight training enough. You know, it's so good because it rises yeah. your metabolism. So, for weight yeah. loss. You know, weights is amazing. And obviously getting some cardio in as well. Yeah. Right. So I think that's everything from me. Have you got any questions? No, no, no. Just, you know, just thank you for your uh, your advice and your help. No, my pleasure. That's what I'm here for. So message me at any point throughout the week uh, and then we'll catch up again on Zoom this time next week. OK. OK, thank you very much. Fab. All right. Thank you, Tom. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.